Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I wanted to share my afternoon with you all. I have just a few little things that I want to get up to in the garden. So I thought I would share those with you. Rocky is crying because he wants to go outside, don't you? So I'm gonna have to take the cats out before I do garden work, I think. But first of all, I'm going to make a cup of tea, grab the tea from our advent calendar. I've been missing a few days with the vlogs, but let's go grab today's, which is 15. Ignore the water sounds. We got the cats a, uh, a fountain. We couldn't really help ourselves because Rocky just absolutely loves drinking water out of the bathtub. And anytime you turn a tap on, he's gotta run over and drink the water. So we got them a little cat fountain. I know it's ridiculous, but I don't really care. Oh. And uh, they're loving it. So that's uh, some nice peaceful water sounds in the kitchen, which I don't actually mind the sounds, but um, if you do hear some running water, that's what it is. All right, we'll find number 15. All right, this one is peppermint, fennel, and rose, which sounds delicious and is perfect because it is a very warm day today and I think this is gonna be nice. I might even make it iced. Mm, let's do that. Right, little taste test. Interesting. I'm not sure peppermint and fennel goes together. Mm. I'll still probably drink it, but not my favorite. Oh my goodness, Rocky. All right, I'm gonna supervise these cats for a little bit to make sure they don't get up to anything that they're not supposed to. And then, and then I have a few seedlings that I need to pot up um, and share just how some of the cuttings went that I took, like, I don't even know, a few months ago, I think. Um, they're very ready to be potted up, so I'll share that with you. Thanks, Annie. I'll see if I can get a little filming while they're walking around and where I can see them. Um, but these are the two uh, pots of cuttings that I took quite a few videos ago. I uh, will have the link to the video in the description box. Um, so I took cuttings for hydrangeas and lavender. These lavender really need to go into bigger pots or out into the ground and the hydrangea the hydrangea only one of them took and that was completely my fault because I forgot to water it for a few days so if it would have had more water it would have been fine they were all taking so yeah totally my fault but you can see one did survive and I'm excited to see what the root development of that looks like as well as one, two, three, four, five, six of the lavender cuttings also took. So I even have them starting to flower, which I'm actually going to pinch off because I'm not interested in them flowering right now. I want them to develop all of their roots rather than putting on flowers. So when I bring the cats in, I'm going to take these out and pop them into bigger pots so that they can grow on a little bit more before I plant them out. But for now, I need to go and supervise these cats. Ricky, come here. Hello. I just like to keep an eye on them because I obviously don't want them killing or injuring any native animals. They've never really done that. So I'm hoping they don't start today, but um, we always keep an eye on them when they go out and we take them out just so that they have a little bit more activity and mental stimulation. So yeah, 
the birds terrorize them, but they terrorize the birds, but they never actually make contact. Um, we don't let that happen here. <laughs> While I'm down here, I thought I would check up on the beautiful pear tree. There's a few pears on there, but there's a few pears on the ground as well. So something has been eating them, parrots or something, probably the, the ones that are making the noise right now. If you do have any advice on like an old pear tree and how to like protect from birds, whether netting is actually going to work, please do let me know. If we don't get any pears, it's fine because it's still such a beautiful tree, but um, it would be nice to get a few pears. All right, cats are in and I am going to repot these up. Let's see what the roots look like. So these didn't have roots when I planted them. They were just cuttings. There's a few on there. You can probably see a little bit better on there. I'm just gonna tip them out and see what they look like. Awesome. That's kind of the, the root structure that they've got, which is really nice and healthy, nice and complex. And it's coming up from the cutting all up to about here. So that's kind of the level that I can plant this at now. So I'm going to fill up some pots with some potting mix and get these in their pots. And we'll see what this one looks like. Hopefully, hopefully it's got some roots. Yeah. All right, the other ones were a fail, but this one does look like it's got some nice roots on it. So we now have another hydrangea plant, which is good. I can plant this around somewhere, um, but I will probably pop this back into this pot with some fresh potting mix just for now, before, uh, while I find a place where to put it. Right, I have potted up all of these lavender and the hydrangea. One of them I just put in that terracotta pot. It will probably need to be repotted as it grows, but it's fine for now. We were both just talking, Scott's here as well. He was helping me film. Yep. <laughs> we were both just talking about how we were tired and didn't want to get up because sitting is just so nice. And I've definitely been tired lately as I know a lot of us are towards the end of the year. It's just always such a busy time made even busier by doing vlogmas <laughs> but i'm really trying to savor like some slow moments in the garden where i do just come out here just do some repotting of plants and enjoy the garden a little bit and this is just your reminder to do that as well if you are feeling really overwhelmed just to come out not worry too much about all of the garden jobs that you have to do just come out and enjoy your garden particularly in summer we're so busy that we tend to not really stop a lot particularly in december so it's really important to just have a relaxing time in the garden do some watering, do some light mulching if you need to, but also just don't be too hard on yourself over this season uh, because we're all busy and gardening is, uh, it's, it's very hard work. So I'm just going to do just that this afternoon. I'm gonna have a slow afternoon in the garden, just do a little bit of deadheading, watering, and Scott's gonna help me film just to get some nice shots of the garden to hopefully inspire you to slow down a little bit in the garden, do those slower jobs that make you actually appreciate your garden a little bit more um, and make you enjoy it, make you look at the flowers, look what needs to be deadheaded, but do it at a nice slow pace that you can actually enjoy yourselves. So we're gonna have a nice relaxing time in the garden, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. 
I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was, I didn't really get up to that much, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed just seeing what the garden looks like at the moment. Uh, and yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with another daily vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video and until my next one, happy gardening everyone. Bye.